um, I thought LeBron James was going to come back with three games left. I didn't think he was going to come back with nine games left. That's why I was like, I don't think the Lakers are going to make the playoffs. Because I didn't think that a LeBron-less Anthony Davis team would be able to hold down the four until LeBron comes back with three games remaining. But guess what? I guess we'll never know. Because LeBron came back. You say, oh, it's HGH. You know what? You, you can speculate all you want. Speculate whatever you want. You say he's taking steroids. You say he's taking putting illegal stuff in the system. Whatever it may be. But guess what? He's back. And I have full confidence in this team now. I have as much confidence as I did back when the trade happened. Back when I was wearing that fur coat with them shades and that chain on. Because you have LeBron. You have Anthony Davis with this supporting cast. Oh my gosh! It's just, I just can't. I just can't believe we got this. The Lakers, aren't y'all trying to ship off Malik Beasley already? He's trash. I know mm. he is. Hey, is hey. he? Is he? Is he the new Danny Green? That's that's the vibes. Nah, he's worse. Oh, he's worse than Danny Green. At least Danny Green plays defense. At least mm. Danny Green does something. Reasonable. At least Danny Green doesn't you turn sure the ball do, do. over. I remember how bad the how many more memes got. I, 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 that's because he couldn't make he couldn't make a shot to save his life. But at least play defense. At least he didn't turn the ball over. At least he didn't get away from his other teammates. This guy Malik. Listen, first of all, Malik Beasley. I hope your father in law gets well. So that might be one of the reasons why he's not playing particularly well. You know, his mind is on other stuff. So that's number one. I wanted to get that out of the way because I wanted to, you know, give my condolences. But besides that, he's just not playing well. He's unplayable. And Darvin Ham, this game right here is going to come down to two people, Darvin Ham and Anthony Davis. Darvin Ham, we nearly blew. He he nearly blew the game against. Why, no, why why the game not on uh on year twenty? Which you because I expect LeBron. He's going to show up. He's oh, gonna, okay. He's going to okay. be a positive no matter what. Even if he doesn't score twenty five points, he scores twenty. I expect he'll still do something good. Anthony Davis, on the other hand, is a different problem. Like he'll he might have only scored thirteen points and only grab like seven rebounds. Like that's who he is. And then it comes down to Darvin Ham and these adjustments during the game. He nearly blew the game against the Chicago Bulls because he played Malik Beasley and Dennis Schroeder at the same time. These two guys cannot coexist together on the floor. And he decided, you know what? I'm a, I'm a sub out Austin Reeves. I'm a sub out um, LeBron James. I'm a sub out the entire starting lineup and I'm a and I'll bring in two negatives on the court at the same time and guess what happened the Bulls made it to a single digit lead and guess what happened when Darvin Ham subbed out Malik Beasley and brought back Anthony Davis in the game and Austin Reeves they were up double digits so it comes down to Darvin Ham's adjustments substitution if he understands, if he's smart, he will realize that, number one, stop playing Malik Beasley. I'd rather see Lonnie Walker get some minutes. I'd rather see more Roy Hashimara minutes than Malik Beasley. The shooting, he, we, have, we already have that taken care of. You need to be playing Lonnie Walker then. Yes, yes. Or Max Christie something. Yes, I'd rather, I'd rather take a chance on Max Christie than I would Malik Beasley. He's just... He is a negative more than a positive now. And hopefully Darvin Ham reels like this. This is a playoff. This is going to have a playoff feel to it. This game right here against the Temple Wolves. Because the Temple Wolves, man, they are scary. And they home. Absolutely. They're, some, they're favored about one point, which is odd. Because they just lost Nas Reed. Yeah. They, they, um, before they lost to the Suns, they were on like a five-game winning streak. Oh. And they were playing really well. Cat was playing well. Anthony Edwards 
they're going to want to win this game. They they expect to win this game at home. So it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a, a battle. I need a Rudy Gobert defensive masterclass on A. Disney over there. Nah, 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 nah. We need, we need Rudy Gobert to fold like he always does. So, Darvin Ham, I need to see something from you. I need to see you actually coach. These are the moments. These are the... These are the times where coaching truly matters. I need to see it from you. Hopefully he doesn't make the same mistakes that he always does. Because against the Chicago Bulls the first time, that was atrocious. That should have never happened. The stuff that he was doing in that game, absolutely foolish. So it comes down to you, Darvin. I better see something from you tonight. But 